hello and welcome. We've been exploring the concept of dimensions and moving from two-dimensional objects that we see on a plane to three-dimensional objects that form solids. Within the very broad category of shapes that are solids, we've been focusing on learning about a special category called polyhedrons, or polyhedra. And in our last episode, explored prisms as a subgroup of polyhedrons. Prisms can be generated quite quickly by taking a polygonal shape on a plane like this regular pentagon and adding lines to create 3D depth. You have likely noticed that the lines don't always need to be added going backward. The illusion of 3D here is created up and forward. Because the lines are parallel, the second end, or base, is the exact same shape. Parallelograms result when the corresponding vertices are connected, A to K, B to L, etc. These form the faces of a prism to complete our 3D object. There are as many faces as there are edges on the base. This is a regular, right, pentagonal prism. In this video, we'll extend our understanding of polyhedrons to include another category of familiar solids called pyramids. Pyramids you're likely familiar with are dramatic examples of this type of polyhedron. Just like prisms, they're solids with many flat surfaces. What differentiates pyramids from prisms is that they only have one base. This means that the vertices of the base all come to a single point the tip or apex. Apex is a commonly used word for mountain peak. As with prisms, we can name pyramids by checking the base for both the number of sides and if it's a regular polygon. And we look for a right angle, this time between the base and apex. So once again we can start with any polygon and from the base's vertices start extending lines but this time only to a point. Because all lines converge to the apex, the sides of a pyramid always form triangles. So what are some of the things we should watch for when we're investigating pyramid shapes? A regular polygon base with the apex above the center point as seen here with a blue vertical line makes all the faces the same isosceles triangle. The image here shows a regular rectangular pyramid with its four sides laid out flat, showing four isosceles triangles. This is the only time we get a right angle between the base and the apex, so if the apex is above the center point, we have a right pyramid. We can extend or shorten the height of our pyramid to pretty much any level. And if the apex is not above the center point of the base, we have an oblique pyramid. Irregular bases create lots of potential pyramid designs. We've been trying to get comfortable with some three-dimensional solid shapes that fall under the category of polyhedrons. Pyramids are shapes formed by a single polygonal base whose vertices extend to a point called an apex. The flat faces of pyramids are triangles. When the base is a regular shape and the apex is at 90 degrees to the base, we form a right pyramid with isosceles triangular faces. These are examples of regular right pyramids. When the apex is not over the center point, our pyramid becomes oblique and the triangles are not all the same. Because cones start with a circular or oval base, they are not considered pyramids. The pyramid shape is commonly used to help visualize concepts as well. We hope you're growing more comfortable with your understanding of shapes and the many places their bases and faces find their way into our lives.